Hello and welcome back. In this section of the tutorial, we're going to work on the gun muzzle flash. So as you can see here, I've imported a texture here, uh, here and uh, put it into the textures folder. Uh, you can find this texture uh, in the description, uh, download it and just drag and drop it into the file system. So let's begin by uh, grabbing our uh, shooting position. Let's duplicate the object and let's rename it to muzzle flash. Let's create a child node and this child node is going to be a mesh instance 3D. This mesh instance is going to be a quad, so a quad and let's rotate it uh, in the Y position by 90 degrees, just like that. Let's scale it like this, just so it gives the general shape of a uh, muzzle flash, something like this. And let's click on our mesh here. Let's give it a new material, a new st uh, standard material. And let's click on this material. And let's go to albedo and texture, uh, quick load texture and load our own texture that we just, uh, that we just imported. Actually, I'm going to scale it just a bit like this. And I'm going to go back to the material. I'm going to uh, go to transparency. I'm going to enable it by alpha. And I'm going to set the culling mode to disabled, just so we can see the, uh, the, the quad from both directions. Now let's go to emission. Let's enable emission. Let's give it a, an orange look, something like this. yellowish orange look just whatever you like I think this uh, looks good now I'm going to uh, grab this mesh instance and I'm going to duplicate it again I'm going to rotate it around the uh, Z axis by 90 degrees so we have this shape like this and I think that is good enough Let's also uh, go to the muzzle flash again and let's give it another child node. This time it's going to be an Omni light. So an Omni light uh, that is just on the muzzle flash uh, position and I'm going to go to light. It's going to be uh, orangey yellowish like this. And I'm going to set its energy to say point one point or set it to two like this maybe that's too much 1.5 and maybe that is good enough also the uh, the size of the the omni light should be a little bit smaller so something like this and I think I like it just like that now let's create another child node of muzzle flash. This time it's going to be a timer. Now let's go back to the weapon script. Uh, I'm going to say on ready, I'm going to grab the muzzle flash slash timer. And I'm going to say dot connect. I'm going to connect the timeout timeout signal that is emitted by the timer and I'm going to connect it to a lambda function. This lambda function is going to do the following. So it's going to uh, take the muzzle flash itself and it's going to set its visibility to false. So visible equals false. Now upon shooting, I'm going to uh, set the visibility of the muzzle flash to true. And I'm going to start the uh, muzzle flash timer. So I'm going to grab it here. 
and I'm going to press start or uh, type start. Uh, one last thing is we need to set the wait time of the timer. Uh, so uh, set wait time and let's set it just a bit lower than the uh, than the shooting rate of the gun. So I'm going to say 0 0.3 something like that. And now let's try it out. Let's see if it works. Yep, uh, it needs to be disabled by default. So I'm going to click on the muzzle flash here on the eye and I'm going to disable its visibility. Now we start off like this and perfect. As we can see, uh, the uh, muzzle flash effect is uh, working. Uh, of course, uh, it is uh, up to your taste uh, whether uh, you, you want to, to modify it a little bit more. Maybe you give it another texture. Maybe change the color of the of the of the flashing. Uh, but it is up to you. Uh, we're going to leave it at uh, this for now. And in the next tutorial, we're going to work on the camera shake.